My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below. Uh, it all doesn't have any value to you guys, but it has great value to me. So um, please uh, like and subscribe if you guys are willing and are getting things off to you. Apologize, haven't uh, made a video for a little while and uh, that's been quite busy this week. I'm actually gearing up to go to Alaska. Me and my buddy are going up there to uh, visit a little bit of family, cousins, and go fishing for the weekend. Um, a little longer than a weekend, but you know. And, uh, you know, just gearing up for it. So, you know, obviously I'm still working on a part-time basis, but I'm really transitioning out, um, and it's it's working. But, you know, obviously it takes up a little time to do this transition. So, apologize if everybody's been kind of waiting for a video, which I don't have that many subscribers, but the subscribers I do have, I do apologize for that. I greatly do. Um, but I do want to go over a couple of things today as far as the market goes, um, just to kind of talk about things, you know, I mean, really Bitcoin went down and I know I was actually, you know, I, I touched on this the past couple of videos that I did, um, was about the analysis that are, you know, are we doing an ABC correction or are we in a bear market now where the bears have basically trapped the buyers, the new buyers coming in and are going to bring the price back down and that kind of bases it and we'll look into it here in a second but that kind of bases it on the volume of things I and mean, really what it comes down to is the volume of things and uh you know tether wash trading um all these things that don't happen on a, on a regular market you know when it comes to trading i mean it doesn't matter if it's a coin or if it's a stock or not we're trading something for something and that's just like a stock does the only good the only extra thing we have on the actual stock market or coin market uh, as compared to the stock market is you can trade from coin to coin, which you can't do on the stock market. You cannot trade stock to stock. You have to turn it back into money, get taxed on whatever gains you get at that point and then move forward. So it, it's the same difference, you know, when it comes to it. But I, I think there may be possibly confusion on kind of where we're going with everything. I mean, are we on a cyclical um, up and down thing where every year something happens um, or are we just you know, every now and then everything's changing with the SEC and the CFTC and, and, and you know, Tether and everything else that is involved in it and, and EFTTFs and, I mean, whatever else we can all think of. Is, is that all going to be catalyst to push everything forward and blah, blah, blah? What it really comes down to is this volume. Uh, it's just, you know, who's really backing the coin? And it's really funny that we only have so much Bitcoin, 21 million Bitcoin. And, you know, it, it, it's we we're still trading it like it's just worth just, you know, a quick buck instead of holding on to it like most people do, like in the stock market. They hold stocks because they believe in the project. Yes, there's obviously day traders out there and there's macro traders and so on and so forth. But there are obviously people in there that are that know that it's going to go up. And so they hold on to it for a long, long time. And then, boom, they got, you know, they're millionaires after 10 years. So, um, you know, we're all trying to make it big in, in a year, in two years, in three years, because we see so much potential for, for big money to come in and push our coin market cap up. It's not going to happen, though, if our volumes don't get up and then because they're gonna, not going to be very, um, uh, you know, safe as far as the risk to reward on there. They want more, more reward. And less risk, just like anybody. But big money is big money, and they kind of control everything. So, um, you know, it is what it is, really, when it comes down to it. So, uh, but I do want to touch on I'm still doing the 100 subscriber giveaway. So, uh, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, and uh, all that fun stuff. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, I have a gold, cold storage coin that I'm giving away. So, that'd be kind of cool to see. So, uh, you know, let's uh, let's move right into it here. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Uh, coin market cap here, if you can see it or not. Um, Bitcoin's down at 7,400. And uh, 264 billion when it comes to the market cap. Not looking, you know, too good in the past couple days. Uh, you know, we do have some, obviously, some, some changers here, you know. And, and these are their... Power coin, never heard of them. You know, might be a new coin coming out. Komodo, that's... Good to see Metaverse, Moac. You, know, you got some new ones just coming out. Funfair, I've heard of them for a little while, but they, you know, they're fairly new as well. So, you know, ETC, Ethereum Classic. So it's just, you know, you got a lot of coins are going to be coming are coming out, 
And the ones that have been out for a while that we've all had our, you know, our money in for, you know, seven, eight months, six, seven, eight months now, you know, a lot of coins that I did buy and, and I could see that, you know, like Electronium and all these other ones that I bought for like six, seven cents and it's been down for three cents and so on and so forth. I, I, I turned it into Bitcoin. I, know, I turned it into Bitcoin just a little bit ago. So I didn't still haven't lost that much when it comes to Bitcoin, but I already know Bitcoin's going to go up as opposed to these other ones, you know, like Electronium. So I'm not going to sit here and wait for it. I'm going to buy it when Bitcoin goes up because I got a feeling that like things like Electronium, they're not going to go up dramatically when Bitcoin goes up. So I can make a little bit of money on Bitcoin, offset my my losses. And then when, you know, I see, you know, Electronium possibly going up to like three, four cents, I may be able to get back in because essentially I'm still getting in at a low price. If Electronium is actually going to do something, you know, cool, uh, you know, I mean, as far as uh, scale up, you know, and do scaling. Litecoin is another one that I'm going to be looking into. Um, Cardano is back down to 13 cents. Probably going to buy some more Cardano. Tether, horrible. I hate Tether. Um, backed by a U.S. dollar, backed by really a, a fiat currency, which is not backed by anything. So, you know, as my, and I always talk about this, guys, that I hate Tether, and you know, and everybody obviously knows that it's a safe bet just to get back into Tether and so on and so forth. So I'm going to give you guys maybe something to look at as far as, you know, an option of not using Tether because it's still safe as Tether, okay? So uh, let's get into this real quick. So gold back coins, okay? There's a lot of gold back coins on there. And what a lot of people don't really understand about gold back coins is it's just backed like fiat currency. It's just like backed like the Tether. It's backed by gold. And would you rather be backed by a fiat currency or be backed by gold? And to me, I'd be backed by an, a tangible asset like gold. And, and, and the, the plus is a lot of these um, coins, you can actually use your cryptocurrency and buy the gold or, that you're holding or at least trade it back uh, to, to redeem the gold that's being held for you in these vaults, quote unquote, vaults and banks. So um, a couple of things I just wanted to go over here is that a minimum price of the coin will always equal the current gold rate. So it's the same thing like Tether. If you're going to get into Tether and it's going to be a dollar, it's the same thing. It's You're going to put your money into a into a gold-backed coin. Let's say, say let's just say DigiDAO. Well, let's just say DGX, okay? Not, not DigiDAO, but DigiX, gold token. Um, DigiDAO and DGX are made by the same people, but it's they too have to have different functions. So the DGX is actually the gold-backed coin, okay, uh, which is the DigiX gold coin. Now, with that being said, it can, the, the price of that coin can never go under the price of a gram of gold. Now, gold has a hundred thousand, whatever, hundred years, 200 years, 300 years that it never goes down in price. It always goes up. It baselines in a certain area. And right now we're baseline between, I believe, 1200 and 1800 or something like that on average for gold. So it'll never go down from those uh, for per ounce. And it only goes up. It has never dropped down from, you know, say $500 down to $40 like silver does. Does not do that, you know. So it goes up, it stays at a baseline area, and then it goes up again and it increased somewhere, and then it stays in that baseline area. We increased up to $1,200, $1,800 when we had this huge gold rush thing going on. So, uh, you know, in the past 10 years, 12, 15 years. So with that being said, gold coins are actually a better coin to hold if you're not going to want if you don't want to play with it and you don't want to baseline it not only that it can go up in price so if it gets the gold coin actually is getting popular the price of that gold coin goes up higher than the actual price of a gram of gold or whatever it's backed by per coin so um it, you know i'm getting it's just an option for for tether and you're like oh man i've seen all these coins so on and so forth well it's just a coin that's backed by gold so therefore it never the current gold rate it will always equal the current gold rate so if cryptocurrency becomes popular then the price of the coin can potentially increase in value just as i was saying greater than the value of gold if the cryptocurrency doesn't take off well it's always going to be the current gold rate of a gram of gold it's like a built-in stop loss. So same thing like Tether, it's like a built-in stop loss, but you have the potential to go up in price. There are 
There are, of course, many risks as well. While the blockchain accounts for the coins, accounting for physical stored gold is another matter. Now, here's this is where the, the scammy gold coins come in. In this regard, our online gold partner, Bouillon Vault, as a good example, as a cannibal gold storage, blah, 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 he's, now he's selling. When evaluating a crypto, a gold crypto, make sure that you own the gold. And they're absolutely right. And uh, you know, if you're just looking to buy gold with Bitcoin, the easiest and safest way is to open a, an account at Vault Toro. This is a gold, gold vaulting service which allows you to buy and sell gold with Bitcoin and other altcoins. The gold is 100% your legal property and is fully insured in Swiss vaults. Valtoro is ideal if you prefer to park your crypto gains in gold instead of cashing out into fiat currency or even tether and read more about and so you can read more about Valtoro here. So Valtoro is actually something I read about and it is it's backed 100 percent by gold. You legally own the gold. The only problem is to me anyways, the gold's in Swiss vaults. OK, so are you paying, you know, um, uh, overseas because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the US. Am I going to be paying overseas taxes? for holding these, uh, the, these tangible assets in Swiss vaults? Okay, I think so. You know, you don't get to hold, you know, uh, assets like this. And, and once they, you know, obviously they know because it's on a blockchain um, that you have it, you're gonna have to pay taxes on that gold. So with me, I, again, I like this. Don't get me wrong. If you just want to buy it with Bitcoin and hold it in there, great. No problem. You know, you can do that with you know, a lot of things, you know, and just buy it with your Bitcoin and, and your Ethereum. Now, a lot of these coins that are coming out, okay, these are pre-ICOs. You have e-gold, gold currency, okay, coming out of London, UK, coming out of Singapore, coming out of Russia, gold vein, gold mine coin, coming out of Russia. You know, these are the ones where I'm like, okay, I, I don't really like putting my money into a different country that's holding, even though I'm guaranteed, I'm holding this 100% guaranteed gold, they're holding it for me. Well, you know, I hold tangible assets myself, but I absolutely do not hold it anywhere that I cannot get to. So that's kind of where I'm looking for now. You know, I'm looking into like, I've looked into DGX and DigiDAO. And of course, how do you do redeem your DGX? How do you redeem your gold if you want to turn your DGX back into gold? Okay, you got to go to Singapore. That's what it says in basically the fine print. Now, I can't, I, got, I ain't going to Singapore if I want to get my gold. Plus, I got to pay taxes on it because it's overseas and I have overseas holdings. So no, and it's uh, un unfortunately not. So I've, I'm looking through this and, and I'm kind of researching a lot of these coins, London, Dubai, you know, I mean, all these things. And there was one in Utah um, that I was actually looking into. Uh, and this one as well, you know, our, our, our room coin, I'm going to look more into this, but they have uh, gold vaults in New York, Toronto, Singapore, Hong Kong. So they're, they're worldwide. So which means you can go and pick up your coin or your gold um, when you need to. So as you can see, DGX and D DigiDAO is, is uh, uh, made by Digix Global and they're in Singapore. And in order to get your gold, if you want it, you got to go to Singapore and sign for it face to face. They don't do um, proxies or anything like that for you to go and get your gold or you can have somebody else go pick up your gold. It's in your name. You got to go pick it up. Uh, Hello Gold's in Malaysia. You know, I, I mean, I've heard good things about some of these gold. Now, again, if you want to just use it like Tether, you know what I mean? Just find a really good reputable coin. And I would say DGD and, D and DJX is actually really good. Uh, and they're on Huobi, Binance, and OKX. So, you know, they're 99.99% um, one gram standard gold. So they're, and they're back 100%. Um, two types of Ethereum tokens. So you can change your Ethereum for, um, and Bitcoin, obviously, for DGD and DJX. So, you know, again, the ones I'm looking for are the ones that are in the U.S. So if... There was one in Utah here, and if I can find it real quick, then I'll show you. And then there's a lot of them in Dubai because there's a lot of gold in Dubai, so they can actually do that. Anthem Gold is another one I was looking into because that's based in the U.S. Um, and they securely vault it with non-bank operator and fully insured. So, um, you know, again, so that that's it's, it's a give and take, you know what I mean, when it comes to these things. But the main thing that I wanted to touch on is this is an option for Tether, okay? Gold-backed cryptocurrencies is the option for Tether. It has its own built-in stop, built stop loss. So it's gonna stop the, the price of the coin at you know uh, uh, the price of a gram of gold or an ounce of gold or whatever the, the, the gold is based on. And a uh, gram of gold right now is like 38 bucks, 39 bucks. So if you can afford a dollar in Tether, I would, I'd assume you can afford one DGAX or DGD for 39 bucks and hold it because it'll never go down. 
it'll never go down. So let's look into DJX, DGX real quick. Okay, let's pull out all this other bits, pull the Bitcoin price out, let's pull the Ethereum price out. Okay, and there's the market cap and there's your dollar. So as it goes, kind of goes, fluctuates up and down, it's still staying around 45 to $40, okay? That's just based on gold. And then gold's gonna go down a little bit and it's gonna go back up and you go, oh cool, I have more money than I thought. So, you know, if, if you don't wanna play in the market because the market's taking a big dump or, you know, it's going up too dramatically, you know, you don't know when it's gonna make a correction and you miss, you think you miss your window of buying, these are the things you want to get. These are things like DigiDow. You know, you don't want to take a big loss when you when you feel it may be coming. So DigiDow, you know, you don't have to. You know, so you're not in the middle of this wash trading and then they can be focused on with wash trading and then be caught for doing this wash trading. So that way people who actually are using Tether correctly are not getting the bad end of the stick and then eventually the, uh, you know, the rug pulled from under their feet. So last but not least, Crypto Fair and Greed Index. We're at 36. Yesterday, we're at 39. Last week is when I was actually looking at it. The last time I did a video, we're at 54. Horrible, horrible to see. But are we in an ABC correction or are we in a uh, bear market now? So uh, we, we shall see. And, uh, and again, I'll go over some analyst stuff tomorrow and we will go from there. So my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please like, subscribe. Hit the bell, comment below. All helps my channel and has no value to you, but has great value to me. And uh, you guys keep up the grind.